Hey, this is Daniel Grove, and have you ever wondered how to make a photo collage within Lightroom Classic? Well, you can, and it's pretty fun. Now, normally, I use a free program called Photoscape to make my collages, but Lightroom offers a few additional options, and it's kind of cool just to do within one program. So here's how to do it. First of all, I've edited this wedding, and I've already three, four, and five starred a few of my favorite photos. I suggest you do that first because it makes the photos a lot easier to find when you're making your collage. So here's what we're going to do. At the top of Lightroom Classic, we're going to open up the the module bar and go to the print module. So in the print module, open your layout style panel and make sure you're on custom package. This allows you to make essentially a photo collage of different photos within one print photo. Um, so on the left here, we have the presets. Lightroom comes with a few. They're okay. They're not really that great, but you can actually make your own. I made this in just a few seconds and I'll show you how to do that now. Let me delete these. These are called cells and each cell can hold a photo and you can align them and arrange them. You can also set a custom size to your photo. So let's pretend we're going to make a collage that will will be a vertical photo or a portrait oriented photo that we're going to post on Facebook. So Facebook has specific sizes that it resizes everything to. I know we all hate it, but that's how it is. So the ideal pixel size for a Facebook photo is 2048 by 1365 wide. Now, if you're doing a landscape photo, it's going to be flip flopped, but we have to convert this into inches for the Lightroom print module. So in inches at 72 pixels per square inch, it's going to be 18.9 inches wide and 28.4 inches tall. I'm going to put the file resolution down to 72. So it's not a ginormous, huge file. Make sure you have this switch to JPEG file because we're not actually going to print this. We're going to export this as one finished image and we can post that online or share it with our client. Now go to the cells panel and we can start adding photo sizes. So I'm going to do four by six because that will not crop our photo, right? We love four by six because it doesn't change anything. I'm going to add another four by six, but I'm going to size this one up while holding shift. So it keeps the aspect ratio. Let's size these over. There we go. I'm going to give a little bit of a gap. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Not very precise, but hey, that looks pretty nice to me. Let's add maybe two five by sevens here down in the middle. Again, holding shift. Also, if you go to the rulers, grid and guides panel, you can turn on show guides. So we have a few options here. We've got the whole grid. We've got bleed, which is like a little border, safety border on the edge. We've got rulers. I don't want that. Image cells. I'm going to keep that checked and dimensions. Don't care about that. So I'm going to keep these things on. Now, if you want them to snap onto the grid, you can actually do that by the grid snap option. Choose grid. And now as you resize this again, holding shift to keep that proportion or the aspect ratio, it will now snap onto the grid. Cool. So I'm going to put that one down here. Awesome. And then if you hold alt and click on it and drag, it'll duplicate it just like it does in Photoshop. When you hold alt or option on Mac, it will duplicate um, and make a make a copy. Okay. Awesome. Let's go with that. But I'm going to actually drag everything down so that there's kind of a top and bottom. So that there's a little bit of gap on top and bottom. Maybe I can add my phone number there, my website, or you know, the last name of this couple. We're going to do wedding pictures in this collage. Dragging it all down, trying to keep everything the same, uh, down a little bit more. There we go. Okay, I think you get the point. Now, once you made a collage that you like the setup for, let's click the plus button and that's going to turn what we have here into a preset, which we can use forever after in the future. So I'm going to name this random collage one. And I'm going to put it in my user user templates folder. You can find uh, free and I'm sure paid templates as well that you can get uh, download online. I found one by Pretty Presets that has quite a few. They're they're pretty interesting. They're fine. They're better than the default ones of Lightroom. But yeah, you can find these online pre-made if this is not if you don't enjoy des designing these things or hey, just find some cool collages you like online and just copy the layout. You know, no one can copyright that. So you're fine uh, being inspired by other collages online. So I've got this made. Now here is a fun part. Let's open up the bottom film strip, which is very right down here at the bottom. And this is how you find your photos and you just drag and drop them. It's so easy. But here's a really cool thing. You can choose which photos you're going to pick from. So here I've got uh, my previous import, which was a shoot I did last night. I've got all photographs. I don't want to show what is it like 70,000 photos here. I have a lot. Um, we've got quick collections. We can pick recent folders. So I'm going to do the Alyssa and John wedding one, and you can even filter them just like you can in the library module. And that's awesome. So I'm going to make sure I'm viewing only the unflagged photos, which are the, the okay ones, not the rejected ones. And then I'm going to look at three star and up. So greater than or equal to three stars. So these are all the decent photos that I've done a really quick and messy edit on. And I'm just going to start dropping these in here. So the big center image has got to be an important one, right? Maybe like a first dance or the kiss or something like that. So let's try to find a really nice photo of the couple. And it, it should be horizontal, so it fits really well. 
All right, I'm going to go with this first dance photo. Um, now, when you drop a photo in, if it's not properly framed or cropped, you can hold the control on Windows or Command on Mac and click and drag up and down, left or right to basically fit it within that. I have not found yet found out how to enlarge to make it like zoom it in or out, but uh, you can drag it around within the cell. Okay, let's find some other photos to complement it. And I want to get a good variety of photos. So we get like a cake photo right here. So these are small, so these should be like closer in, tighter photos. There we go, cool. Let's do a ring shot right there. We got last name right there. And two more horizontal or squarish photos. Maybe we can put this bridal photo here and just zoom it. Eh, let's get one closer. Yeah, that's nice. And one more, maybe an ending, end of the night photo right there, the kiss, yeah, with the glowing thingies. I don't know what those are called. Cool. So that is how you make it. Uh, lots of customizable options here. I haven't really gone through a lot of the settings. You've got white borders for all the photos. You can even add like, um, you know, a line inside there, inner stroke. When you select a cell, you have options here to rotate it to lock that photo uh, ratio. So if I click on that, it's basically going to copy the aspect of the original photo. I don't want that. So I'm going to control Z that. Uh, you can add new pages. Uh, you can also close that page if you accidentally do that. Adjust the height and width. Of course, you've got background color here. I'm going to keep it white. You can even add your logo. Uh, you can move it around, I think. Yeah, you just drag it around. Pretty sweet. And once you're finally done, click print to file. I'm going to save this one as number two. And there you go. Ready to post. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I have an exciting Intro to Lightroom Classic course coming. It's going to be amazing. So if you want to learn and master Lightroom, use it as an incredible tool in your photography business. I highly advise you get this course. It's going to jumpstart you and you'll be a Lightroom master in no time. Have a great week.